it's uh, very energy efficient and at the same time there are no viewing angle issues. In the dark it remains quite visible and easy to read. Um, otherwise, uh, I, we can take a quick look at some of the other features. On the back, one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, there is a cell-based battery, a CR2032 battery, that's used for backup. That means that when you are unplugged from power, it can still save the time information for a while before you plug in power again. However, unlike the first generation model, there is no option to plug in standard batteries like AA or AAA batteries to power the entire thing. You do need to be plugged into the micro USB port at all times, but at least that is a standard port that's used. One other thing I wanted to point out is that the speaker is, it remains a pretty warm glow, almost like candle light uh, that makes it nice and comfortable, also for reading, stuff like that. Buttons here, easy to tap on, no complaints there. You can tap on this key on the top here to turn the display on the face here completely off, tapping on it again to turn it on or to change the brightness for that. So there's two modes and the brightness can then be controlled using the plus and minus keys on screen. So you can see that this is as bright as it gets, uh, very bright and definitely fills up a room without any problems as far as a reading and using it as kind of a mood lighting set. So right now we have all the lights off in the room and if we present a documentation or like a piece of paper, you can see that it's definitely visible and good enough to use as a reading lamp in the dark. Let's turn it off uh, or get it less bright. I can also tap and hold for a smoother action. And I can change the color by tapping on this again. It starts off at green, but then cycles through reds, blues, magentas, and then goes back into that kind of gentle white glow. So you get a few nice custom and playful colors that you can cycle through for a more funky look.